Hi, this is a short video showing you how to use PowerLab, the Silpo PowerLab 8, uh, to find out how much capacity there is on a single lithium free polymer cell or also any other battery cell. As you can see here, I charge the type A, A123. That's the name of an old name for a lithium free polymer. Uh, and I charge it at 30 amps. Uh, I started at 2.7 3 volts and now 3.1 1 volt 4%. Totally, I have put 5.89. Amps into it now. Not, right now, I'm charging it from the <laughs> standard ATX power supply. Um, and I think should be able to see here how many amps. Well, yes, it's giving 12 volt and 9.6 amps out. So you can also use a uh, 24 volt power supply or up to 30 volts actually. The smart thing with, with this unit is actually this one. It communicates with the uh, laptop, program on the laptop. And as I hope you can see, I will turn off the light. So I hope you can see it here. I have the curve, charge curve of the battery. And uh, well, that's still strange. It just gave a little hub. Um, and as you can see it here, until now there is 6.4 amps into this battery. So it will take something like a charge with 30 amps and the max would be something like 160 amps normally on the lithium battery I'm using here. Is the gold good old Thunder Sky? See the brand here, Thunder Sky battery, and it's the uh, 160 AOA version. I got eight of them here in an off-grid battery pack. So the right way to, um, if you have problems with your batteries, battery packs like this one. You are going to discharge all of the all of the cells in the pack. Right now, it's my cell eight. I'm discharging. I have discharge and uh, going to fully charge it again. And then I will know exactly the capacity, and I will have this kind of charge curve for every single cell of the eight one I showed you here. So if one of them, uh, if one of them is a little below. Well, it doesn't matter, but if it has, for example, half capacity, well, then uh, the total pack will have some problems. So, I'll come back a little later.